Hey YouTube, what's up? Alexander here. Um, I'm back, of course, because um, that uh, goodbye YouTube video was just an April Fool's joke, as you all probably know. <laughs> and um, I'm here today to test out um, MCSoft Anti Malware version 5.1, and here is the interface very nice let's wait for this to open up there it is very nice very nicely done I like this um, golden golden Trojan horse I believe and um, this is a full security package um, there are some um, very advanced line of protections like behavior guard and there it is. If you go to the settings, everything is checked, everything is okay. Application rules, alerts. Um, what we have here, you can activate paranoid mode. And that's, that's not what I would recommend to you. And there is one option that I will enable now. Alert unknown malware. Uh, this is a heuristics analysis. You have SER protection and some host rules. And uh, you have quick scan, smart scan, deep scan, of tracking cookies. There is some kind of, I believe this is some kind of hips. Um, this MCSoft anti malware is using a behavior blocker. You can uh, download it separately as Mamutu, 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 whatever. <laughs> Mamutu behavior blocker that can work um, with your um, antivirus with no problem, with no problems. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's now update it. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, there we are, it's fully up to date. And now we are ready for the test. Um, over here, let me show you first the installer is uh, 105 megabytes. And if we take a look at the memory usage, come on, warning. Well, MCSoft is alerting me about the Process Explorer program tries to install invisibly. So what uh, would I like to do? I will allow this application. Okay, let's see. MCSoft process is here. Here is the big one, 34 megabytes and uh, another one let's say 36 36 megabytes of RAM that's okay it's not light but um, in other way it's not heavy uh, I have collected some uh, <coughs> some zero day links here but I cannot find the text there it is yes I had to reinstall my Windows XP because a um, couple days ago the electricity crashed suddenly and uh, it damaged some uh, hard drive sectors so I've got some um, bad HDD sectors and uh, Windows uh, was not able to boot up so I reinstalled it the first link it's running in memory and it crashed this is a video add-on and uh, it's gone now okay So I reinstalled the Windows and um, 
Hempsis of empty malware says Trojan sex sex suspect. Ugh. Trojan suspect empty malware has detected the malware. And probably the file has been blocked and quarantined automatically. If I try to run it, it's um, it's dead. Anti MCSoft killed it. And again, um, Trojan Downloader. If I try to run it, I cannot run it. So, as I said, I reinstalled the Windows um, whole system and um, I had to um, install again VMware Workstation and the system in, in it and all the things and that's a very painful process. This is Trojan Generic. anti malware is blocking that one. This was uh, caught by heuristics, I believe. It says Trojan heuristics, or something like that. Let's try this. And this uh, is signed application. Maybe some of these are not uh, viruses. And uh, this uh, this is a behavior blocker alert. It says program tries to modify an outrun entry. So while executing the program, anti malware detected the possible malware behavior. The program is attempting to modify an auto start entry, which enables that specific program will be automatically loaded to the next time the system starts. What would you like to do? Maybe I would say because it says uh, possible ma malware behavior, I would say block behavior, and maybe quarantine, block and quarantine. Okay. It has very strong behavior guard, and uh, this is Trojan generic blocked again. MCSoft uh, is a company from Austria, I believe. And again, Trojan Downloader. The file has been blocked and removed. Okay, very nice. I didn't find much information about this company on Google and Wikipedia. This is probably um, not a virus. I'm not sure if all of these are viruses. Some of these are probably not. I have downloaded them from a Malco database. An anti malware detected malware, Trojan injector, and blocked. That's nice. I tried to collect uh, links from malware domain list, but um, it definitely it's not a day for that. Backdoor Win32, and uh, it's removed, okay. And another alert. Let me try to run maybe two, two backups. Maybe four. <laughs> Unknown publisher, if I run it, this is interesting. It says Hrana, and uh, that means food on Serbian. Hrana.exe. <laughs> it's running in memory here. Herbateka ebook version 1. Huh, this is a uh, Food is health. That means uh, Rana Yelek and poison. This is. This looks like. Uh, 
I don't know what. Probably some kind of adverb, maybe not. There are some um, cancers, headaches, and things like that. I'm really not interesting about that. Maybe, who knows, I don't know, maybe this is not a virus. I'm not sure. And, uh, and MCSoft is detecting this one as Trojan Crypt. And of course it's blocked. Unknown publisher, anti-malware is detecting malware, Trojan, suspect. PWS and of course it removed it I will run all of these backups as I always do and warning program tries to install invisibly while executing the program anti-malware detected possible malware behavior the program is attempting to install something invisibly if you have not intentionally started the program, display the bow. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> I will block and quarantine the file. But the same thing popped up when I was trying to to run uh, this process explorer, and that's one thing I don't like about it. It should have some kind of white list let's see what happens with this one it's not running here okay now I will restart the machine MCSoft didn't say that uh, it wants me to restart but I will do that anyway and after that or maybe now I will run um, CCleaner clean all temp files let me first set up something where is that cookies settings uh, never mind run all of this uh, clean them and now I will restart the machine update malware bytes and uh, I will do a quick scan with it and I'll be back and show you the scanning results Alright everybody, uh, Malwarebytes completed scanning and it found one uh, infected object and this is a Malware Trace in uh, Windows System 32 I believe this is not uh, this is a harmless piece of Malware actually Malware Trace okay now I will run a scan with uh, Hitman Pro just a quick scan and uh, I'll be here in a minute alright I'm back and the Hitman Pro found nothing and uh, I also did a scan with Norton Power Racer and as you can see no risks found so all in all um, MCSoft anti-malware version 5.1 did excellent job um, this is a very strong security suite that's for sure it has a lot of uh, advanced options, very good behavior guard, very high detection rate. Um, this is of course a trial. I have a 3 day, th three day trial, not a 30 day because uh, if you want a 30 day trial you will need to sign up for that and um, to be honest with you I was lazy to do that. I hate that um, registration stuff. <laughs> This is a paid version, of course. There are some. Um, there is a MCSoft Anti Malware Emergency Kit, I believe it's called that, like that, and um, it's very good um, for removing malware. You can do a scan with it and um, clean up your system. It's something like Malware Bytes, and that's very nice and very good software. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. 
and uh, thanks for comments for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos and thanks for support I really 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 appreciate that and um, have a nice day